so hello everyone so today we are going to discuss laws of chemical combination and this is from the first lesson some basic concept of chemistry of class 11 and this is the part 7 of this lesson okay so in this video we will discuss about the laws of chemical combination so we will discuss five laws first laws of conservation of mass second laws of definite proportion third laws of multiple proportion fourth Galusek law and the fifth one is Avogadro's law so these five laws we will discuss in this video so first is laws of law of conservation of conservation of mass law of conservation of mass so what is this law of conservation of mass so we know that mass or we can say that matter matter is anything that has space and occupied mass so mass can neither be created nor be destroyed so mass can neither be created nor be destroyed it can be transferred from one form to another form we cannot we cannot destroy or create the mass it can be transferred from one form to another so this is the law of conservation of mass that mass or matter you can also say matter because matters are anything that occupies space and having mass so simple definition is there matter can matter can neither be matter can neither be created nor be destroyed nor be destroyed so matter can neither be created nor be destroyed it can be transferred from one form to another so this is the law of conservation of mass okay now the second one is law of law of <coughs> definite definite proportions law of definite proportions so first we already know law of conservation of mass so we have not discussed it in details okay. second law of definite proportion so first what is their definition let us see it is state that a given compound always contain it it states that a given compound a given compound always contains a given compound always contains exactly the same always contain exactly the same proportion exactly the same proportion same proportion of elements by weight or by mass now what does it mean let us discuss in details same by weight suppose we have one compound let us consider one compound suppose we have considered copper carbonate this copper carbonate we have selected okay so it can have their natural origin or it can have can be prepared by artificial so there are two possibilities that it can be natural or it can be synthetic so natural means in natural we will obtain this so natural sample we can take or we can take 
आर्टिफिशियल और सिंथेटिक सैंपल सिंथेटिक सैंपल सो इफ टोल्ड डेट a given compound always contain the same proportion of element by weight means here copper is there carbon and oxygen three element are there suppose percentage of copper is something will be there suppose x percentage of carbon is suppose y and percentage of oxygen is suppose z what is x y z maybe some values so how we can find that we already know mass percentage how to find yes suppose mass percentage of copper so mass of copper by total mass into 100 in this way we can find okay mass percentage we know already how to find that we have discussed in a video also so in this way suppose if you find the mass percentage of copper means mass of copper by total mass in 200 mass percentage of carbon means mass of carbon by total mass in 200 mass percentage of oxygen so mass of oxygen into 3 divided by total mass in 200 so we will get the value of this this and this if you take the synthetic sample, so synthetic means artificially we have prepared copper carbonate. So whether it is natural or whether it is synthetic, the percentage of the element will be same and this is the law of definite proportion. Laws of definite proportion means a given compound have the definite proportion of element by mass. Whether the compound is synthetic or natural, no matter. Whether that compound you have prepared artificially or that compound have natural origin, no matter. The percentage of element by mass will be same percentage of element by mass will be same suppose copper whatever be the percentage in natural sample same percentage will be in the synthetic sample whatever be the percentage in natural same will be in synthetic means whether the compound is natural or synthetic means naturally occurrence or artificially prepared the percentage of mass of the element will be same. It is stated that a given compound always contain a given compound whether it be natural or it be artificial exactly the same proportion of element by mass. Okay. So let us discuss third law. Third is law of multiple proportion. Law of multiple proportion. Third, law of multiple proportion. What is law of multiple proportion? Suppose if two elements con combine to form more than one compound. Suppose if we take carbon and if we burn in oxygen in a limited supply. We have taken carbon and burning in oxygen in limited supply. A small supply of oxygen. What will be the product? Product will be carbon mono oxide okay if you take carbon and burn in oxygen and it is in excess quantity what will be the product carbon dioxide now you can balance it now see carbon and oxygen can combine to form more than one compound one is carbon monoxide other is carbon dioxide so let us take the mass so carbon have the mass 12 gram, oxygen have the mass 16, 
how many oxygen two atoms are there two of half is one two multiplied by half is one so 16 gram okay now carbon 12 gram how many oxygen 16 into 2 that is 32 gram <coughs> So in law of multiple proportion, it is said that when two compound can combine to form more than one compound, if the two compound, sorry, if the two element can combine to form more than one compound, then the masses of one element, masses of one element that combine with the fixed mass of other element, masses of the one element masses of the one element that is oxygen that combine with the fixed mass of other element fixed mass is carbon are in a ratio of a small whole number are in a ratio of a small whole number so this is the law of multiple proportion so what is law of multiple proportion when two elements can combine to form more than one compound then masses of the one element that combine with the fixed mass of the other element are in a ratio of a small whole number now which one is fixed mass carbon so oxygen that will combine with a fixed mass will be in a ratio of a small whole number so whether it is in a ratio 16 is to 32 1 is to 2 yes so it is in the ratio of a small whole number 16 is to 32 that is 1 is to 2 <clears throat> now definition we will write now so we can say that if two elements if two elements can combine can combine if two elements can combine to form more than one compound, more than one compound, then the masses of the one element, then the masses of the one element, masses of the one element that combine with that combine with the mass of the the mass of the <coughs> so if two elements can combine to form more than one compound then the masses of the one element that combine with the fixed mass of the other element are in the ratio Fixed mass of the other element are in a ratio, are in a ratio of a small whole number. A small whole number. Clear? So two elements, so here carbon and oxygen, they can combine to form more than one compound. That is one is CO, one is CO2. Now, which one is fixed mass? carbon is fixed mass so different is this one so mass of the one element that is oxygen different is there that combined with the fixed mass of the other element so mass of oxygen will be in a ratio of a small whole number that is one is to two let us take one more example okay. one more example of this Hydrogen can combine with oxygen to form water. Also, hydrogen can combine with oxygen to form hydrogen peroxide. So, two elements can combine to form more than one compound. Two elements can combine to form more than one compound. Now select which one have fixed mass, hydrogen 1, 2 times 2, oxygen 16, hydrogen 2, 16 to the 32. So which one is fixed? Hydrogen. 
So masses of the one element that combine with the fixed mass of other element are in a ratio of a small whole number. So whether it is in whole number check, ratio 16 is to 32, how much 1 is to 2? Yes, it is in the ratio of a small whole number. So this is the law of multiple proportion. So now we have got three laws. First, law of conservation of mass. So there we have got matter can neither be created nor be destroyed. Second, law of definite proportion means a given compound, maybe that compound have natural origin, maybe that compound have artificial origin. That compound always contains same proportion of element by mass. That given compound contains exactly the same proportion of element by mass. Means whether origin is natural or synthetic, no matter, percentage of element in both the element will be same. And third is law of multiple proportion here. Two element can combine to form more than one compound, then one element will have the fixed mass, other element will have the different mass. So masses of one element that combine with the fixed mass will be always in the ratio of a small whole number. Next, fourth. So four number is Gay-Lussac law. Number four. Yeah. You said no. Now, what is this? So, he told that when gases combine or are produced in a chemical reaction, so it is only for gas, it is only for gas. When gases are combined or are produced in a chemical reaction, they do so in the ratio of their volume, in the ratio by volume. Now, definition, when gases combine, when gases combine or are produced or are produced in a chemical reaction, in a chemical reaction they do show they do show in a simple ratio by volume in a simple ratio simple ratio by volume provided now condition is that all the temperature and pressure provided the temperature and the pressure are constant. Temperature and pressure are constant. So at constant temperature and pressure, at constant temperature and pressure, when gases combine, or are produced in a chemical reaction so they do show means they can combine or are produced so they do show in a ratio of the volume ratio of volume okay let us check what is given <laughs> suppose nitrogen gas can combine with hydrogen gas Nitrogen gas can combine with hydrogen gas to form ammonia gas. So nitrogen combine with hydrogen to form ammonia. Now see what is the ratio. This is one volume. This is one volume. Why? One time is there. It is how many? Three volume. So three volume. It is how many? Two volume. Two volume. So when gases combine, this is gas, they combine or are produced. Produced. They do so in the ratio of a small whole number. A small but simple ratio by volume. 
So what is the ratio? 1 is to 3. 1 is to 3 for reactant side. Here nothing is there. So when gases combine. So here it is gases combine. So they combine in such a way that the ratio that their ratio should be simple. 1 is to 3. Or in many reaction maybe gases produce. So there will be Suppose, if we break water, if we break water, so water is broken to form hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. So, gases combine or are produced in a chemical reaction, they do show in the ratio of a small a small ratio or simple ratio by volume. How much volume? Two volume of hydrogen, one volume of oxygen. Ratio is two is to one. Simple ratio. So when gases combine or are produced. When gases combine or are produced in a reaction, they do show in the ratio of a small, a small ratio by volume. So here you can also say, this is the definition, okay. here we can also say, one volume of, one volume of N2, means dinitrogen gas combined with one volume of dinitrogen gas combined with combined with 3 volume of dihydrogen gas 3 volume of dihydrogen gas 3 volume of dihydrogen gas to produce to produce 2 volume of ammonia gas 2 volume of ammonia gas so in this way you can also say one volume of dinitrogen gas combined with three volume of dihydrogen gas to form two volume of ammonia gas in the same way this okay next fifth number is Avogadro's law Avogadro's law what is Avogadro's law? So, he told that equal volume of all gases contains equal number of molecules. Equal volume of all gases contains equal number of molecules. Equal volume of all gases, all gases contains equal number of molecules equal number of molecules condition is that at constant at constant temperature and pressure at constant temperature and pressure so this is the Avogadro's law okay Discuss in details. So, Avogadro's law told that equal volume of all gases contains equal number of molecules. Condition is that temperature and pressure should be constant. Volume is directly proportional to number of molecules. Volume is directly proportional to number of molecules. Condition is that temperature and pressure. Temperature and pressure should be constant. Okay. Now, suppose one container is there. In this container, we have taken, uh, this is one liter 1 liter hydrogen gas in this container suppose we have taken 
वन लीटर नाइट्रोजन गैस दिस इज द कॉन्टेनर वेयर वी हैव टेकन टू लीटर ऑक्सीजन गैस एंड हियर वी हैव टेकन हाफ लीटर हाफ लीटर क्लोरिन गैस All our gases, all we have taken volume. Now see, if this gas have the x number of molecule here, number of molecules, number of molecules is suppose x. Maybe anything that we have to find. so with the help of mole concept you can also find the number of molecules high we can say that one mole contains 6 uh, one mole of hydrogen contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules so one mole means 22.4 liter to so 22.4 liter contain this to so 1 liter contain this in this way you can find okay suppose this contain x number of molecule here temperature and pressure are constant this is the condition we have taken if this container have x number of molecule then this container will also have the same number of molecule why this container also have the same number of molecule because volume is same this is also 1 liter this is also 1 liter so whatever be the molecules of hydrogen here the same same number of molecules also be in this container that is number of molecules of nitrogen in the second container will also be same why because condition are same temperature and pressure are same now third one you see volume is double if you increase the volume then number of molecule will also be increased if you decrease the volume number of molecule also be decreased so if volume is double molecule is double volume is half molecule is half so this is the avogadro's law volume is directly proportional to number of molecules volume increases number of molecule also increases volume decreases number of molecules also decreases now we will solve two question so let us take two question from this topic so two questions we have taken from the laws which we have studied now first is question number 1.21 exercise the following data are obtained when dinitrogen and dioxygen react together to form different compounds what are the data mass of dinitrogen is given mass of dioxygen is given which law of chemical combination is obeyed so we have studied five laws now law of conservation of mass law of definite proportion law of multiple proportion galussec law and avogadro's law so which law will be there see mass of nitrogen is fixed 28 28 14 14 so if we multiply 2 2 if we multiply here to here because in one term we can't multiply if we have to multiply then both dinitrogen and dioxygen both we have to multiply so we can say that this part see if we multiply by 2 what will happen this will be uh, how much 28 this will be 32 okay this is what this is di nitrogen this is di oxygen if we multiply by 2 again so this is also 28 g this will be 64 g okay this is 28 remains same the so same to same 32 28 
This is eighty. So see, uh, we are multiplying two two to make the mass of one element same. So which law is obeyed? Law of multiple proportion. Law of multiple proportion. Nitrogen and oxygen can combine to form more than one compound. It can form NO. It can form NO two. It can form N two O. N two O four in this way. N two O five. So nitrogen and oxygen can combine to form more than one compound. Then the masses of the one element, masses of one element that combine with the fixed mass of the other element, that combine with the fixed mass of other element are in the ratio of a small whole number. Now just check whether it is in the ratio of a small whole number or not. So masses of the one element that combine with the fixed mass of the other element are in the ratio of a small whole number. So this ratio will be how much? Sixteen two is a thirty-two. Sixteen four is a sixty-four. Two is a sixteen five is a eighty. So this is the ratio of a small whole number. The ratio of a small whole number is there. So which law is obeyed? Which law is obeyed? The law obeyed is law of multiple proportion. And give its statement already written. And now I have also told. So answer will be law of multiple proportion. Law of multiple proportions. Okay. Now proceed to second one. A statement is already written. Write that one. One point two six. If ten volumes of dihydrogen gas react with five volume of dioxygen gas, how many volumes of water vapor would be produced? Okay. So this completed. You can pause the video and you can write it. Answer one point two six. See what is given. Dihydrogen react with dioxygen. Dihydrogen means H two. Dihydrogen is a gas. React with dioxygen, which is also a gas. So hydrogen and oxygen combine to form what? Water are produced. Okay. Water are produced. Now, what is asked? It is asked to form water vapor. So volume. How many volume? So if it is given in the form of volume, so we will apply which law? Gas Lussac law. So here you see gases. What was the definition? When gases combine or are produced in a chemical reaction, they do so. In a simple ratio by volume. So how many? Acha. First balance two, two balance. Now, so this is how much two volume? This is one volume. Coefficient one means one volume. This is two, two volume. So we can say that two volume of hydrogen gas combined with one volume of oxygen gas to produce. Two volume of water, so we can say that two volume of dihydrogen gas combined with combined with one volume of dioxygen gas, one volume of dioxygen gas to produce two volume of to produce two volume of Water vapors. Okay. In question, it is asked if we take ten volume. So two is there. If we take ten volume of dihydrogen, so ten volume means we are multiplying how many five. So in each number we have to multiply it by five. Here also, here also, because in one number we can't multiply. If two volume. Of dihydrogen combined with one volume of dioxygen, 
to produce two volume of water if we take 10 volume of dihydrogen means we are multiplying 5 so 10 volume multiplied by 5 so 5 volume so 10 5 so 10 volume of dihydrogen combined with how much 5 volume of dioxygen to produce so 2 combined with 1 so 10 combined with 5 so multiplied by 5 2 5s are 10 volume of water so 10 volume of dihydrogen 10 volume of dihydrogen combined with 5 volume of dioxygen to form how many moles of water how many volumes of water that is 10 so for 2 1 2 so if you do. therefore 10 volume multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 so our answer will be so these are the laws of chemical combination so we have got five laws a so this is finished okay if any confusion doubts are there you can ask me in the comment section thank you